to start the second half of our program with Maria Margarita Grimani. Uh, she was a uh, late Baroque, early, uh, early 18th century composer. She was one of seven women who were composing operas and oratorios in Vienna and Italy. We don't really know a whole lot about Gramani. She may have been the daughter of an Italian ambassador to uh, Austria during this uh, 1713 time. And that's when most of her music that's surviving uh, was written and, and premiered, 1713. Apparently, uh, one of the pieces, the one that's uh, up on the screen, was written for the name day of the Emperor Charles of Austria. He was a Habsburg. You can see a beautiful crest on the music, and this is for her opera, not the, uh, the Visitation of Santa Elisabetta. Uh, that's an oratorio. That's one we're going to be performing today. But the music up on the screen is for her opera. So why is it that we don't know more about uh, Grimani? Sometimes the political uh, wind shifts and suddenly the Italians are no longer friends with the Austrians. And there was a lot of political tension going on in that inner uh, realm of Europe during that time. Uh, Charles had nothing but trouble going on, and his money was running out. And at one point around 1740, we think maybe Charles was poisoned by poison mushrooms. Maybe he committed suicide. We don't really know. But after that, he left this big mess for his daughter, Empress Maria Theresa, to clean up. And there was the uh, Austrian secession. So you can imagine that a piece that was performed uh, for the emperor during 1713 would be at risk if it's not published, at risk of war, fires, and everything theft. So these things unfortunately disappear, especially uh, with war. Churches get burned down and the entire library of church music is ashes. So we have to protect music and make sure that it, it gets uh, published and enjoyed by everyone. And, and a lot of the lesser known composers, their music uh, just disappeared because publish or perish. So today we have the Symphonia, from the oratorio La Visitazione de Santa Elisabetta. 